Сейчас покажут мультики. Uh, it's not quite on Memorial Day, it's not quite Rise and Shine 4 a.m. get up soldier, but we got everything else we can do here. And behind me as well, I've got Infinite Mystery, the legendary mm -hmm. mm -hmm. runner, submitted mm -hmm. to game over eight years ago. Everyone knows uh, the legendary uh, speedrun grandma in the house. <laughs> Give it up for Infinite Mystery right here. <laughs> Одного комментатора знают по спидранистской бабушке. У каждого героя есть статы, и что интересно, они имеют значение, отличие от некоторых. Вот тут мы убиваем героя, который будет высоко прыгать. Там вначале мы берем чувака, который высоко прыгает, и берем оружку. И эта оружка очень важна. И игра встречает одну из самых сложных секций в игре. Тут довольно сложный тайминг. На боссе выбираю третьего героя, который ниндзя Снейк Айс, потому что он бросает гранаты. А потом вторым героем рок-н-ролл добивают. Во втором уровне мы будем бегать по базе Кобры. Это такой лабиринт. А в третьем мы будем оттуда бежать. Босс на этом уровне весьма беспощаден с его РНГ. И его за рок-н-ролла подбирают апгрейды к пушке, чтобы было хотя бы уровень пушки 3Б. А, 3 вот сейчас 3Б. Но все прошло по маслу. некоторых шарм в старых играх таких вот. Времен Несса Дэнди там. А тут вместо Снэка изберут вот этого капитана. У него хорошую двоечку прописывал. Ну, хандаун в похожем стиле из нового. То есть тоже там герои различные. Интересно. Я посмотрю. Не, тут не совсем причем ностальгия, если честно. Хоть я и застал игры на Дэнди там 
возрасте два года. Но я сейчас не испытываю к этой играм сильно ностальгии, я что-то тут уже пережил, что ли. Переварил этого внутри себя. И сейчас я вот все эти ретро игры оцениваю независимо от этого. То есть, как они есть. Потому что в ретро играх есть куча всего, чего сейчас редко делают. И порой просто не хватает некоторых жанров или механик. Тут либо надеяться на инди-сцену, которая по мотивам делает, либо прям быть игровым археологом в поисках годноты. А тут прикольная битва с боссом, тут меняли оружку на кулак, так как это кенцы или прикольно. Но это не то чтобы спорно, но, например, Doom тот же, да. Я играю по системе, типа, у каждого уровень без сейва, то есть только в начале уровня сохраняюсь. Не люблю я там сейф скамить. Like frame dependent, but it always feels like um influence. It's like the people who cross their fingers at the roulette wheel or you know, pick certain lottery numbers. It doesn't actually increase the probability, but it certainly feels like it does. Alright. Easy boss fight here, we're just gonna shoot straight up this thing. Mm, that boss ne ne so so we're, we're in a pretty good spot. This next ah, one, no, you know, you know, you know, в старых играх нет особо таких quality of life changes, да, как говорится, на заморском. То есть, многие вещи там будут менее удобны, я вот как-то раз пытался сидеть в Визардре, я там продержался недолго. Вот эта таушка такая небольшая скиллозависимая, потому что эти арбы неуправляемые, которые вокруг вот эту машину крутятся. Поэтому надо подбирать место и тайминг, чтобы по врагу попасть. Так. А... Если вы ничего не слышите, то... Да. <laughs> This never happened before. Это, это со стороны уже оригинальной трансляции проблемы Си. Да, это, это uh, бывает. Мне нравится вот этот э, переход между такой музычкой пиксельной и мегалованией. Так, 
с лучшего перехода сложно найти. Вот так-то да, плюс суши. Наверное, и вот за этой фигни и так долго ждали, кстати. Ну, на этот раз быстро пофиксили. Я, я еще испугался, что... Тут прям сложная будет. Какая-то прям критическая поломка. Ну, кстати, я проходил Undertale геноцид Траути. Мне Санс не столь сложно показался. Я на него где-то час потратил. Я думал что он гораздо сложнее будет, там что-то часа три убью на него. Ну, как говорится, не, не так страшен черт, как его молюют. Надо было очень приятный челлендж по сложности. Кстати, какого, какой у вас, ну, эти вот, из тех, кто Undertale проходил, любимый раут? Мне вот интересно мнение узнать. О, все уже, игра. Отлично. Отлично. Uh, Тут вот эта пауза немножко раннего помешала, чтобы попасть в цикл босса. Тут тачка простая, что вот эти вот этот персонаж прописывает двоечку в цикл. И вот сейчас вот не очень хорошо получается. Вот вот эта машина вот хватает его. А, блин, потеряли челикса, к сожалению. Да, тут спасибо, что заруили мне игру. Что я не могу сказать весьма интересный способ хакнуть компьютер через кулачки. Ранее теряет бойцов. Это не очень хорошо. Даже ранее решил подсейвиться. Взял хилочку. 
under, under normal circumstances, uh, with, when we try to, in the earlier auto scroller, you when you're going down, you're hoping to get uh, three gun upgrades. If you don't get those, this is a stage where you pick up the net, the extra ones because you see that there's three here and uh, it, after each of these little climbs here. So, so on the way down, you you just switch over to rock and roll real quick, grab that gun upgrade, and then switch back to uh, snake eyes. Yeah, we do need to be a little bit careful here with our health. We got a health ration though, so nice. we're feeling a little bit better about that. Oh, another, another one. one. I'm waiting for this guy. Normally, I can just snake eyes, just jump over that clown, but with a... Uh, Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh well, there's nobody okay. to switch to. No. Nah. Switch to. That's all right. You know what this means, though? It means we can snake eyes it. That's right. So we can actually show you guys the way this level's supposed to look when it's, like, flawless. So we're going to lose a little gun power in the... Why do you lose the count? But now the runner will show you how this will be. It's really good. Let's just play snake eyes super fast. Switch to this one. This will be, like, if we got zero guns in the... The donation section earlier that will take an intentional hit here. Dash through both of these doofuses. And this level apparently takes place in the New York subway. Um, I, I've only been a couple of times. I remember some birds, but I don't remember this many birds. But maybe you guys uh, <laughs> can vouch for the the life down there. All right, so through this part, I oh, wish you go snake eyes still. Whoa, good. All right, cool. Safe through there. We're gonna have a really weak gun for this fight, though, guys. So we're gonna be real careful with rock and roll. We'll take one intention. Yeah, вот видишь, сбрасывается. Было максимально, а сейчас один D. Уровень пук пуклый. This is a game that was featured in the Big 20, actually. Uh, it's probably what, what helped get this game a little bit more popularity recently. Uh, this is where the category would end for those players. So um, we're just trying to finish off the oh, boss. Oh, this game was a big uh, uh, challenge. Uh, one of my most fun stages of the game is this climb here that we're going to see. Show his mad hops. We're going to do gridiron for these first couple of jumps because they're right ready. Like, but then you guys think you guys, he's popular. going to... Uh, you know, helps everyone in the grocery store get things off the top shelf. So, Never oh, skips like that. Yeah, and then jumps over helicopters. I mean, I remember when Kobe jumped over a car. You guys remember that commercial? Yeah, well, this, this guy's jumping over helicopters, all right? So, and then we got this vehicle here. Uh, no, I forget what it's called. It. It's called like the Pogo or and it just, uh, it does not move left or right very well at all, as you can see. So it's not a vehicle that's typically uh, speedrun friendly, but in a vertical level, it is awesome. So we're going to take out this guy here. By just utilizing a lot of those bulbs there into the boss, and that is yeah, the one. Machine and now we are in the four. We're going to try and pick up a couple extra gun upgrades here, but this is one of the more adventurous levels. It's a very vertical um, HQ where we're going to be placing a lot of bombs here, like we saw in the previous uh, HQ levels. Uh, 692 is great. That's a good start. Um, so we're going to be using Snake Eyes' climbing ability, but there are a couple spots, namely right here, where we're going to switch to rock and roll because his gun allows us to, well, when it's max power. Get through these spots a little bit better, but that's all right. So salvage some stuff there, take out this guy, and let's go get one of these gun upgrades, man. We're on level two finally. Now you can see he's shooting four bullets out instead of two. So when we were at max power, we're shooting ten. Let's see if we can get that. Hopefully by level five. Pushkin. Ну это уровень такой следовательский, тут надо снова ставить бомбочки, как во втором уровне. Snake eyes, and let's use some verticality here. Oh, we can even get some of these guns for our for our man here. Get them, get some HP boosts. That's all right. We got plenty of chances to get health in a bit. There's a health and a gun right there. We just gotta do a little bit of recovery here. There we go. There we go. Back to snake eyes for this. Вот также пушка rock and roll. Позволяет разбивать некоторые камни. He is uh, probably the strongest boss in the game. Just uh, does four HP damage to you immediately. Uh, the boss so we gotta be careful with Snake Eyes, this two HP. I'm not trying to get no, nah, never mind. Just got one there. Ah, right, we're good. That's fine. And then get another gun. 
You gotta know where all these little guns are for these recovery strats, right? It's a marathon, not a sprint. Ooh. You can see how, uh, how, how inefficient his jumping is. So that's why we're just trying to get everybody else to carry the gun to the end of the level for us here. And level three guns, all right, we'll, we'll be okay with this one. We got plenty of spots to improve it later. Look at that, standing on the toe, look at nice. that toe strength, man. Doesn't That's military toe grade steel toe boots right there. <laughs> As now we can't climb with them though, because he can't jump like Snake Eyes. All right, there we go. So let's climb up here and take on Road Pig. Now, normally if I had Snake Eyes here, I would do some crazy uh, rock strats, but instead I'm just going to play it safe. Вообще вот этот босс убивается с помощью Snake Eyes. Но у Snake Eyes мало ХП, поэтому тут немножко более сейвового страта будет. Here we go. Road pig down. Nice and if you told me I was going to get through here, just fine without a death. That's that's great. That's usually the scariest part of the run when it goes wrong. So we got good health here on rock and roll for this boss. Flying a chopper, another vertical level. We can get some guns too. That's always fun. Ну, oh, not one. Еще одна машинка на вертикальном уровне. Это вертолетик. So we get up here to the end of the level. Not going to have time to grab those without getting hit by those missiles that are chasing after me. It's okay. We'll take a hit here. Climb on up, and then hopefully take care of this guy pretty quick. We're gonna get a light beam. It does three HP, but it gives us a lot of iframes to be able to dash through. So we're gonna take that and then. Когда он хитрый страта с лазерами, хоть и лазеры они отнимают пазы здоровья, но они дают очень много когда к нему уязвимости. We're gonna jump through the desert here. We gotta get a couple of gun upgrades, and then we'll be at what is it? The max, max power. Max power. So we got this helicopter to take care of first. Normally, with max power, we might be able to punch through that guy a little bit, but I'm just gonna try and get the gun upgrade and play it safe. And then five threes, where you guys gonna really? Тут с того, что он не максимальный апгрейд пушки, тут играют по более сейвовым стратам. We got that coming up, and then we've got Captain Gridiron just punching his way through an entire stage. So we're gonna try and make sure we escort those guys at full strength. Metal Slug. For Alpha, no, тут от Metal Slug отличие в том, что здесь персонажи действительно делают разные штуки и имеют разные статы. You try to lure the van over here as far left as you can, because as soon as you finish phase two, you want to be able to shoot this guy driving it. If you were too far right, taking out phase two, then he just just off the screen and you can't take care of him. So. Here is our final, um, or not our final, our second to last HQ that we got to blow up here. This one has got plenty of buzz bore action though. It is our last chance to see that wondrous vehicle, but it will do, do the majority of the work here. So get ready for those same uh, seven or eight measures repeating themselves because the music seems to repeat every time you hit a check mark in this game. But there it is, just waiting for us. It's забавно, что музыка начинается заново, когда ты закладываешь заряд. We were talking before. Um, I'm wondering if like this technology we're grappling on walls and being able to jump and stuff like that and this is climbing in and out of a warehouse this could get in the wrong hands this could be вот эта вот машинка она умеет по стенам лазить и делать прыжок using some of these to move packages around sooner rather than later if the controls are this bad and it only has two buttons and a d-pad i am really worried for their safety but hopefully uh hopefully forklifts are still more efficient i guess but yeah we're climbing around here replacing all the checks do a, an instant fall there as fast as we can to climb to this one. And we got three more to place. There's a couple spots where we may take some intentional damage if we have the HP to spare. This is not one of them. We got to wait for that guy to shoot his flamethrower. He's showing off his, his big guns. But we do have to take him out because the lag that is produced... Нет, цифры на этом... На заряде это таймер. Take the high route here. Когда он закладывает. Oh, that was perfect. Didn't take any damage, and we got this flamethrower guy. Okay, we got all the HP to spare. Let's go fast, rats. I'm not even gonna use the weapon anymore. We're just gonna go full speed through here. Do a jump, which is way faster than scaling a wall. And I don't have the orbits on the screen, so it's two sprites that are moving around quickly we get to ignore. And I can just dash through these guys, and we'll go right to the boss, which is the big old snake. Блин, я обожаю басы на Nessusском саундчипе на этом на 2.05 Риконовском. Right, so, so what, what PJ is going to do here is he's going to go over to the left and he's going to kind of make this like 
it's kind of a serpentine style through this through this bottom of the floor here as he has to as he has to work his way through and uh it, what he'll do is he'll find this snake enemy here this this boss here and we're we're gonna stand in the corner and it opens up a space here we'll switch over to captain gridiron and just punch him down real fast <laughs> Да, он тут этот босс убивается с двоечки. Right, right. nice сейчас будет yeah. время для Грита Эрона. Сейчас покажу свое боевое искусство. Ой, не очень удачный... Не очень удачный damage boost произошел. Да, да, да. Окус не удался, Факир был пьян. Yeah, and those little grips there on the wall there are a little bit tricky. You have to put a D-pad input it just as you're going up to it. If you're holding it for too long before, it doesn't usually take. So we try to be a little bit more careful with that. We'll switch to Snake Eyes. Mm. Yeah, this is not the, not the preferred route, but we'll take care of it anyway. Plochinka, plochinka. Good save. I do need this health up here, though, now. Watch out for that bullet. А зато есть хилка на все хп. Эээ, ну пулька, пулька затроллила. Марафон лак, марафон лак, это называется. I'm glad you guys get to see bonus GI Joe. It's it's extra credit you guys get to see, right? So it's just more of this great game. Yeah. We're excited to see bonus GI Joe, right, everyone? Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we get the extra. Ну зато мы насладимся. Побольше геймплея в этой игре. And if that takes, you know, a little bit of backpedaling here to do that, just to be safe for it, we'll be we'll have to do that because. He has a lot of HP, but more importantly, he has a, a, a lot of platforms that he jumps over that we could take a death on if we don't kill him fast enough. But um, typically what we'll do is kill him really quick and do a quick kill and take an intentional death to avoid a cutscene. So um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough uh, gun power to make that happen fast enough. So we're gonna make sure that our, our bullets actually count. Because your ammo doesn't actually change in your gun power. You'd think no, oh, есть такое. Тут персонажи дают различный геймплей. Тут каждый персонаж уникален. That's what we're gonna do here. We'll take this intentional hit. Go there, grab the health. Так, это это туда был предусмотрен. Got one big scary enemy left that we're worried about here. О, это всего лишь один враг, которого стоит бояться. One more gun upgrade, but we'll live with this. That's fine. Take that one. He tried to come at me again. We already had the eye frames. All right, we got the Destro fight. Oh, boss. Right, so I'm actually going to use snake eyes and some grenades here, if I can, just because uh, I'm worried about rock and roll's health a little bit. Uh, two packs a day will do that to you. Um, so then we'll just grenade this guy up. Normally we'll be using the gun here, but like I said, rock and roll's only got. Тут я не переключился на snake eyes, потому что он боится за хп rock and roll, который является основным источником урона. And, and Snake Eyes can really uh, just toss grenades. Like you see how fast he's he's throwing those. It's, that's one of Snake Eyes' best abilities. Is he can fire grenades way fast. He is the only character in which you can hold up and just mash B and he'll fire grenades. Everyone else, you have to wait for an entire animation. So this is a pretty brutal fight, though. These moons do a good bit of damage. Um, normally, if we had max power, he'd be gone by now. So we just gotta like ration our bullets and play it really safe through. Я уже потому как сколится эта платформа вижу прям насколько эта битва неспроста. Alright, we got the trick. All right, and now we are at the last level, so we get to see General right. Hawk in all of his pride. There, he is going to be leading right. this mission himself. Uh, Mad Mega can tell you what he does a little bit more special than the rest of the characters do. So General Hawk is is really awesome because he can fly. Uh, I mean, his name's Hawk. I, I guess that makes sense. He should be able to fly. Тут новый персонаж появляется, генерал Хоук. Его может летать. Uh, base that has uh, eight bombs that have to be planted. 
while also uh upgrades for uh General Hawk's weapon that we're gonna need for the final fight, and also taking a few intentional hits here for rock and roll. Uh we're going to the the way that this map is laid out, the last bomb is very, very far away from the Здесь, uh... exit. Специально получаю урон рок н роллом потому что последний заряд находится очень далеко. In the meantime, we get to have uh, General Hawk flying around this uh, completely unencumbered by uh, the laws of gravity. <laughs> yeah, he's got a jetpack. I guess what that thing is on the back of him there. Um, that would have been really nice for the first five missions, dude. So I appreciate that you're like our commander and like leading us places. But if you were this good this whole time, man, like, come on, like that's like uh, Jordan going to play baseball for a while, right? Like, go, go, go help your team. Like, your squad needs you. You're still under contract, right? You just retired. All right, so. But we're gonna place a couple more of these checks here. We're gonna get General Hawk to max power, and then, like I said before, we're gonna take a, an intentional death with rock and roll. He's gonna take a, a, a like this map here has the check marks so scattered and is a gigantic maze. So we try to put um, the most efficient route, obviously time-wise, would be to go get the last check mark, and then if we could press a button that lets us warp back to the beginning, which takes us right near the exit. Well, the only warp that we have is uh, killing somebody. So that's what we're gonna do here. Uh, normally we would have. Uh, you know, rock and roll just uh, have one HP here already, but we missed a grenade there at the beginning because those guys who are lobbing grenades that you can see in the lower section of this level, they do a lot more damage than everybody else. They do four HP. And by taking that intentional death in 5-1, not only did, or 5-3, not only did we uh, avoid the cutscene there, but we uh, reduced rock and roll's health back to what he started at, which is nine HP. And if uh, you guys are good at math, nine HP minus four HP minus four HP puts you right at one. So if we had taken two grenades, that'd have been fine. But a couple of those missile guys. А тут говорят, что Укенгол должен был оставаться с одним ХП, но пропустили дар. Поэтому у этого персонажа два ХП. И нужно тебе оставить два ХП, чтобы сделать дезволк. Alright, we have twenty dollars from Zero the Fourteenth, who says, "Awesome job, PJ. Great to see this game at GDQ. Keep up the amazing work." Zero the 14th, uh, huge help uh, in our community there. He's uh, one of the moderators of the board and uh, he's done commentary for this run before as well and is third in the world at this game. Oh, one, so, uh, so thank you so much, Zero, for your support and all of your help. Человек, который um, очень помогает в комьюнити этой игры, он модерирует Багду на speedrun.com. И он в прошлый раз комментировал эту игру, когда она была на марафоне. Seeing more people try these things out and get that execution even better would be awesome to see. All right, we got our last fight here. Uh, I'm going right, to step in the here and take one hit instead of bumping my head, like getting out of a taxi to take four. Um, we're going to have time when General Hawk dies. When that happens, about five to ten seconds later, there is a slight photosensitivity warning. So we're just going to shoot this guy up, and we're going to hope we don't not turn into a lizard. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we turned into a lizard, but we lived. All right, you have to see that. Вот этот босс он превращает игрока в ящерку. Там можно избежать, избежать этого цикла, но не получилось. Oh, for sure. They actually do that at the end of every level, but it's not nearly as long. <laughs> and that is GI Joe. I know we're already over time, so I want to be quick here. But thanks so much to my couch. Thanks for everybody for having us. I know we've had less NES games than we've ever had before here recently, and um, that's because not a lot of people are submitting them like DSP. This is like the Cadillac console of speedrunning. You look at old GDQs. It's so many NES games. We would love to have more and more players submitting more and more runs. Um, I think that its popularity is as big as ever. Yeah. Select group, but man, it's для раннего особо наказание вместо чашечек он теперь ящик будет.